Welcome back to Get Good. In the last video, we talked about ignoring files using the .git ignore. In this video, we're talking about a few different things, actually. We're talking about a lot of branch operations. So I'm gonna be showing you how to use the checkout command, the switch command, how to rename branches, and how also to stash things as a little bonus, because that seems related to all this stuff. So at the moment, we've only been using the main branch if we do a git log, and you'll see I've changed all my email addresses, ooh. Uh, you can see that we've only actually done stuff using uh, the main branch. But a lot of the time, especially if you're working in a collaborative project, you want to you know, be able to create new branches uh, for new features or you know for your own work to then be merged in later. And to do that, you can simply just do git checkout dash B and then the name of your branch. So we're going to do test branch, this particular thing. And you can see we're now on a branch called test branch. And we, if we do git branch, it now gives us you know, the main branch and the test branch. So the one with the star on it and presumably the one in green as well is the one that we're currently on. But we can see all of the branches we have by using this command. You can also use the checkout command to switch between branches. So you could do git checkout, if I can spell uh, main, not master, and we can do that. Or you can use git switch to do the same thing. So if we were to switch back, we can see uh, that we switch back to the test branch. The checkout command has more recently been split out into two separate commands. So switch is one of them, restore is the other. We'll probably be talking about that a lot later because that has a very different purpose. But you can use either checkout or switch to create and switch between branches. If we ever wanted to rename our branch, then we could. So we could do git branch uh, and then dash m. I'm not sure why it's dash m and not you know, something else like dash r, presumably dash r was already taken. We can rename this develop if we wanted to, uh, like that. Or we could, you know, uh, change the name of any other branch uh, by saying, so if we wanted to change the main branch to trunk, for example, then we could do that here. And if we get checkout, or not CD, get checkout trunk, we are then back here. But note that the origin is still main. So if a branch has an origin, then you know chances are it's going to get a bit confusing. So it's probably best to just stick, you know, with the same name. Once you're done with the branch, if you decide you don't want it anymore, then you could do git branch dash d uh, test branch. Oh, I forget what it's called. Oh, it's called develop now, isn't it? And this will delete a branch that you don't need anymore. Merging doesn't actually delete branches automatically. So if you did want to delete a branch, then you would need to do this. So that's largely all you really need to know when it comes to working with branches. I'm going to give you a little bonus tip, which is the stash. Uh, and to do that, I am actually going to make a change in our thing. So if I if I just get rid of this, for example, that will be fine. So if we wanted to do that, but we didn't want to commit that change yet. We wanted to change to another branch that had all sorts of different changes and we didn't want them to get confused. What we could use is the git stash command. And this will stash uh, any changes in a separate sort of area in a sense. And we could do this just like this, or we could do git stash uh, save dash m if we wanted to supply a message. And we'll just do a test stash for now. And we can see that the change has now been reverted and we can you know, confidently switch between branches and not um, mess up our history. If you wanted to see the stashes that we had, we could do git stash list. And at the moment we just have the one. If you wanted to apply the most recent stash, we could do git stash apply. Uh, and it would make the changes again. So you can see this file or this line, sorry, has disappeared and then we can commit it as and when we see fit. I just wanted to shut it up here. I wasn't really sure where else I could put it, but stash is a really useful thing to know. And it is particularly useful when you are switching between branches. So it made sense to put it here. That's all I wanted to talk about in this video. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my amazing patrons and members on screen now, especially Mazar Roshman III for being so generous. I'll see you next Monday for whatever we do next and next Thursday for the next installment of Get Good.